All right, we're back again. It's Wednesday night, time for another live stream. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Really excited for the build we have tonight. But first, I want to introduce Kelly. Good evening, everybody. Glad to be here. And alongside Kelly, we also have Dave here again tonight. Hey, everybody. Good evening. Nice to see you again. Looks like Axel and Audrey are already in the chat. Good evening, guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Really excited for the build. As I said, it's a nice night here in South Carolina. Before we get into the build, I want to thank everybody. We just launched the adjustable angle connector over the weekend. I actually got one here. Let's see. All right, so you can see the adjustable angle. We just launched this. Had a great weekend. I appreciate everybody that bought one. And I'm actually going to be using a couple in the build tonight, so I'm really excited you'll be able to see that in action. But first, before we actually build, I'm going to show you what we're going to be working on tonight. So I've seen this in the past, and I've actually wanted to make a video on one of these before, but never have. So this is like a stick figure pipe lamp, I guess you'd call it. I just Googled pipe lamp, and these came up. But you'll see there's a bunch of different kinds. So let me see. This one is cool because it's like sitting on the edge of like a a mantle, but you kind of get the idea. It's just like a person sitting there. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I like that. I wanted to do this one. It's like doing a deadlift or something, but there's a bunch of different kinds. I think we're just going to stick with kind of just a standing up one tonight, but I'm excited because you may not know this, but EMT Condo is designed to have wires run through it, so this will be our first build. Whoa. <laughs> where I know, right? <laughs> it's not just a DIY material. It's actually meant to house wires, so... We're going to actually use conduit, going to run some wires through it and make this lamp. So I'm really excited for this. You really have to do, you have to pick a pose, I think. I have to pick a pose? Yeah, like a, a pose that the uh -huh. that the thing's going to be in. Hmm. Right? Like what makes that cool is that. Oh, look at this one. Oh, with the bow and arrow? Yeah, I think that might be the, oh no, I thought that might be the actual cord to the lamp. But oh, that would have been cool. Oh, this one actually has like the flange as the shield <laughs> and then it's holding a sword that one's cool see i mean it's like the the pose the javelin that, that makes it right oh that's cool oh that's a good idea to use flange as feet i didn't think about that that's cool you got a saxophone player i think this is the original one i saw and was excited for it kind of got me uh thinking about doing this thinking in the in the thinking pose, right? <laughs> <laughs> Got you thinking. That's funny. But yeah, I've seen people sell these on Etsy. They're kind of expensive. I mean, you see some of these. Oh, this one's forty eight thousand dollars. Oh, let's see that one. Industrial. I don't even scared to click on it. I might charge you just to look at the listing. Is wow. it like life size? Oh, that's yeah. That's not even a person. That's just like. I don't know. The forty eight thousand dollars. That's a lot. Wow. Look, I mean, talk about connector. I usage. mean, it's cool, but like, wow, yeah, that's pretty gnarly. Huh, we'll save that for a, a big build day. <laughs> okay, we well. A, what if we did a maker pipe build like that where it was just stubs and connectors? Like we just got the biggest pile of like scrap that we could? Yeah. That'd be a fun like maker fair event. So we just tell everybody that comes out to bring like stub conduit <laughs> and we just turn it into a, a big... Sculpture like that. Yeah, make her fair. Rest in peace. Oh, this is funny. They put a magnet on the end so it holds their keys. Huh. But people get on us about how many connectors we use of builds. Let's like really blow their mind with a bunch, <laughs> all connector builds. Like a thousand. Yeah. That'd be funny. So yeah, yeah, there's some cool. Oh, Warren said he just got back from dog classes. That sounds fun. Welcome back. Yeah, I mean, there's some cool ones. Oh, this one's riding a motorcycle. That's kind of hardcore. Maybe we maybe we can do a poll. I don't know. What well, do you guys think? Let me know which which pose you think we should do. What pose? Because I was thinking should just you? just standing, but I guess that is kind of lame. Yeah, we're gonna hold you to a higher standard for sure. I think there's a flange laying over there in the scrap video pile. We could probably make the shield one. I think that would be fun. Yeah, you want me to? Can we get it? Yeah, I think it's. Oh, that one's really cool. 
I like that one. Yeah, I like that one too. Um, yeah, I think it's it's somewhere over there <laughs> in the in the scrap pile. So if you want to grab <laughs> Do it, you want me to go find it? Uh, no, I'll get it. Okay, I can get it. I mean, if you guys want to talk, no, it's all right. Okay. Keep going. Uh, if you want to do overhead, I'll kind of go through everything I've okay. got. So I've got a whole mess. You can't really see it all because the camera zoomed in a little bit. But I've got a light switch here. So we're actually going to incorporate the light switch. This will be the head of the little stick figure person. Got some connectors. Like I said, I've got some adjustable angles here that we're going to use. Uh, I think I'm going to use that for like the shoulders. Kind of makes sense because you can adjust it like a real arm. And got some tools. Ah, Dave, the magic arm just came in with the, this will be our shield. So we're going to do the, the shielded stick figure person. They're going to be holding a, a sword. Ooh, and I actually brought a 180 so we can actually make like a, <laughs> oh, you know, it'd be really cool. A so hilt? Is that the right term for that? I think so. I'm like geeking out over this thing now. Imagine, so we've always wanted to do clear PVC builds. So imagine you like the sword was clear PVC and you put LEDs and made it like a lightsaber. <laughs> oh, wow. That would be cool. We'll have to do that. Where can you find clear PVC? I don't think I've ever seen it. I th I know you can order it online on Amazon or Home Depot or Lowe's, but I don't think you can like go get it off the shelf. I mean, it's clear PVC, I think furniture grade. Um, I don't know. Dave might know more than I would about that. Yeah, I've seen it from a company called FormuFit. They do a lot of furniture grade PVC connectors and fittings. Really cool company. And they have clear PVC, not only uh, pipe, but also connectors and fittings as well. That's cool. Yeah, we'll have to do a build with that because I really want to incorporate like LEDs and use the connectors and then build. I wonder if we can make acrylic connectors. Well, I know we could, but I wonder what that process is like. But. I think it's time to get started. I've already cut a couple of pipes, so I'm going to start there. I'm also going to use some set screw fittings. So I don't know. What do you think I should do? You think I should wire up first? Well, I think walk through kind of the materials you got, maybe. Okay. Or did you do that while I was grabbing the flange? I kind of did, but not like in depth. Um, basically, I just got electrical conduit box you find off the shelf, you know, used in industrial buildings, that kind of thing. And then I got some set screw fittings. That's going to be the body, right? The torso. Uh huh. Except I didn't get the right size. Oh, no. Think. What happened? Oh, wait. Wait. Do you thread the nut? I never used the electrical box, so I could be... Yeah. Un undo the nut. Put it in, and then you thread the nut in? Right. Exactly. Uh, okay. False alarm. I almost got worried. It's okay. We could have overcame. But yeah, I never used those fittings. I've never used the electrical box, so that's cool. But anyway, I've got the electrical box, and then I've got a plate for the front... You know, of course, the, it'll be housing the light switch. This will be how we turn on and off the lamp. And then also at Home Depot, they sell, like, lamp repair kits. So it's just a regular cord. And it comes already pre... What's the word? When it's, like, pre-cut like this? Um, yeah, pre-cut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Pre-cut and ready to, to splice. Yeah. Um, Pre-tinned. They were tinned ends. They had some solder mm. on them. Nice. Um, that was like five bucks, super cheap. And then what else did I get at Home Depot? I think that was pretty much it. The head, right? Oh, that's somewhere else? Yeah, this is... Well, I got it at Home Depot. Um, I looked at Lowe's. They didn't have any. But this is basically just a floodlight replacement. And it's almost... Actually, with... Actually, I didn't test it with... I think with conduit that has been cut, maybe, with uh, burr, it might work. I don't think so. I think it's going to be just a little bit too big or a little bit too much of a gap. It's so close, though. I don't know if you guys can see how close that is to being perfect. Um, but I'm just going to put some electrical tape around here and then just kind of screw it in. I think it'll be okay. Right. That's what I was going to suggest. Yeah. It's not the not the best option, but it's I think it's a pretty good option. And it'll hold it. And it's just an accent piece, so it's not like it's got to be structural or anything like that. Um, this is the head. Then I got a small 40-watt bulb. I got a big bulb at first, but it kind of stuck way out and looked really weird. So I just got this one that sits in there pretty nice. And that's pretty much it. And then, of course, I've got connectors. It's gonna, I think it's going to be a lot of T connectors. Got my hardware. And then cutter, some other tools. 
you know, the basics. Expo marker for marking tape measure. But yeah, I think it'll be pretty simple, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Do you think I what should? Are, what are the joints going to be, Jake? What do you mean? I mean, how are you? So like the, the conduit will come out of the junction box. Right. So I was going to do the four. So like this will be like the neck. Uh huh. And then, you know, the arms coming out. And I'm just going to do, I think, a little bit of like a stomach or like torso that comes down and okay. then goes into like the classic square. It almost looks like a Lego person with legs. And then I'm going to use adjustables up here to kind of be able to curve and move mm -hmm. and then come out to a T and that'll hold the sword and the same on this side to hold the shield. I think mostly T connectors. Okay, sweet. <laughs> I can't what wait to see. <laughs> uh, how is it going to stand up? I'm going to do like L shape at the bottom here. Oh, okay. Uh, so okay. it's it'll just kind of have an L shape and hopefully stand up. I can't wait. Yeah, I, I, I've never built one, so I've never done wires built in too. So it may look funny, but it's okay. Yeah. It's just it's going to be fun. That's all that matters. Hey, if. Um, if you wire it correctly, right, and don't electrocute yourself, yeah, then that'll be a win, right? That's that's the main goal here, and, and we should, you know, we should preface that by saying Jake is not an electrician. Yeah, don't follow his advice with the electrical. Uh, yeah, do and it at your own risk. absolutely do not drink and do electrical work ever. I don't recommend doing that, and yeah. <laughs> uh, that's not a good idea. And yeah, I've never done any kind of electrical work. It's, which is funny because I've probably built, it's probably safe to say, touch conduit or been near conduit every day for a long time. So to actually be using it for what it's intended is kind of fun. Um, we really need to do that more. Yeah, I think it would be cool to incorporate more electronics. And we've seen that in some builds. I should have pulled some up, but Sean comes to mind where he built a he built a frame around a CNC kind of tool area, right? And he incorporated like a light switch and plugs. And I've also seen somebody that made a lamp like this where they used the bigger junction box and they had like USB ports so you could charge your phone and stuff. So it like sits on your desk, nice. plug in your phone. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think we should do more builds like that too. All right, I'm gonna get started. I think I'm gonna get started by just putting these in. And then, Jake, we have some design suggestions. Oh, yeah? Well, one. Um, Bob Clare, who also said that the wire mm -hmm. is actually called pre-stripped. Okay. So, there you go. Um, but he suggested that you use the T for the feet. Okay, yeah. I think so, to make the L shape. Yeah. I think yeah. that'll be good. Thanks for that suggestion. Yeah, anybody that has any suggestions or wants to see... A certain thing, and I'm excited to use the adjustables too. I probably should have got like a uh, actually, no, the threads on there are pretty, pretty good. Okay, that's cool. I mean, the adjustables are pretty much a, a joint, you know? Yeah, like I think they'll be perfect. Joint, elbow for, joint. Yeah, like the shoulders because be able to like shift it up and down and move it every which way. Try to keep the set screw on the back. I was thinking of naming this person Scrap, since I mostly pulled from the Scrap conduit pile. <laughs> That's great. I think that'd be a, <laughs> a funny name. Oops. Yeah, an Arduino type thing would be cool. Scrappy. Scrappy. That's cool too. Dave, have you? We did an Arduino build, wasn't the Cannonball Run? I think. Uh, yeah. So. We've messed with uh, Arduinos and microcontrollers a bit. We've done the Cannonball Run, which was a a, a game like a, a we, it was like a cannonball waterfall thing where two sides went against each other. That's good. And there was a button at the bottom that you know lit a light that whoever the winner was. Um, I know I'm doing a horrible job of explaining it, but yeah. That was one thing we brought around to Maker Faris. And then in the Kickstarter video, we did a, a camera slider that was controlled with an Arduino 
and then a stepper motor controller board that's an add-on to the Arduino, and that handled the motion of a stepper motor that moved the camera back and forth with a, uh, a belt drive assembly. So hmm. we've done some motion, and I can't wait to do that stuff again. I want to remake that camera slider. I think that would be really fun to do. Yeah, that would be neat. And that was using the mostly printed CNC, MP CNC project, nice. some of their files, which is an open source CNC um, router made out of electrical conduit. A really cool project. So we use some of their files. Yeah, I can't wait to do more motion and, and cool builds like that. Yeah, I think that'll be a lot of fun to do. Sorry, I got zoned out for a second. I was thinking about my person here. Do we do we have anybody in the chat that's done electronics? Any Arduino or microcontroller? Raspberry Pi is another one that's popular now. Yeah, I'd love to know. That'd be cool. Oh, my gosh. I lost it. I think you could do a really cool skeleton with this. So, like, imagine you, like, made bent conduit and made, like, a rib cage. It's, like, the heart of it is the junction box. And you uh -huh. did, like, a rib cage. I think that would be cool. Maybe a Halloween live stream. Yeah, Halloween's coming up. I saw some Halloween candy at the store all the way in August. Already? Yeah. Man, I'm surprised there's not Christmas stuff out the way they do stuff. It's crazy. They, they like to put it out early. We we did that Halloween like zombie thing that had ribs, didn't mm. it? Oh right. yeah, the Frankenstein, right? That was at yeah. the Atlanta Baker Fair. Right. The person's gonna be very tall, that's for sure. Follow suit. Well, for the two of you <laughs> <laughs> who are <laughs> six five and six six, not me five two. So here's kind of the general. You balance this out. Yeah. Actually, I probably could just set screw into the head. I don't know. But that's kind of like the general. So I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, as long as the, the arms and legs are a little bit longer, I think those would be good proportions. Yeah. How many yeah. adjustable angles do you have? I brought four. I only plan on using two. At the shoulder joints? Yeah, two at the shoulders. And then, I mean, I guess I could do them here, too. Yeah, it might be cool there. Do you think... Hmm. Yeah. You could, you could change it, you know. It'd be weird if that was too much, too wide, right? Like if mm -hmm. the hips were super wide and the torso wasn't. Right. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how long, how long to make the, the legs. That's probably too short. I forgot the electric cutter at the shop today, so we're going handheld. I tried to pre-cut as much as I could before we started, but I've got to keep in mind the connector depth, too. So like Bob was saying, if we use T's here, that's probably not enough length. Then. No, I don't think those legs are, and you need a knee joint, you know? My goodness. All right. I know. We're going to challenge you, though. Oh, yeah. And I just had to do this blindfolded. And that's the next one. So a few weeks ago, I did a blindfolded challenge. Too easy. Next, we're going to do a blindfolded electrical <laughs> connection <laughs> challenge. No. No. no, we're not going to no, do that. No, we're not doing that. That's a, that's a clear veto on the, Denied. the founders over here. Warren said he saw Christmas stuff today at the store. That's insane. Yeah, that is that is crazy. There's what? still school supplies out. <laughs> I know. I think this is a good link length. What do you think? Yeah, that looks. Because imagine, I mean, the arms are going to come down pretty far, and then probably hold the shield like right in here, and then we'll have the with the sword going out. You need that uh, Da Vinci circle oh. thing back up. Yeah. Right. The the Vinci circle. I thought it was a bridge. No, yeah. Well, last week, we're going to continue with this Da Vinci theme mm -hmm. from last week, but 
the the bridge was the Da Vinci Bridge for uh-huh. sure, but isn't the like proportions of a person the Da Vinci Circle? Mm. You know where that like a human being that's with outstretched arms is right. in a circle. Mm-hmm. What's really interesting about that? I saw in a documentary. The your wingspan is supposed to be your actual height. So from the tip of your finger, when you're like this, to the other tip, that should be your height, your wingspan. And like, like LeBron James, his wingspan is longer than his height. If that makes sense, and mine is two, actually. So is it really? Yeah. I, you have a very long wingspan. Yeah. When we went to Dollywood, they have a, like a little sign. It's like a bird. Like the wings of birds, and when I stretch out, I have like the same wingspan of an eagle. So, you know. That's so fitting. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Do you have superhuman athletic gene <laughs> as well? Yes. <laughs> My brother, who might be watching, did uh, one hey of those Josh. like gene tests, and it came back and said that he had superhuman genetics or some athletic. kind of gene that's only found in like superhuman athletes. You can obviously tell. You know. Right. You've got that. Right. In spades, man. Pristine. Super. Jake, um, another one of our uh, friends did that, and she was matched with, um, you know, extreme athletic ability of a weight trainer, I think it was. I'll have to check with her, but. Who are we talking here? Let's name names. Uh. I'm, no. No. <laughs> don't uh, name names on the. We're not doxing street. people on the. I, I don't think anyone knows her, but I I mean it. It's um when she told people about how she did it, she would start with that, and let people know that she had the athletic ability of a. Nice. I think it was like an Olympic weight trainer or uh-huh. something. I don't know. That's how I'm gonna start introducing myself. Hello, my name is Jake. Just so you know, I do have the <laughs> gene for superhuman human athletics. Uh, as you can tell from my stature and shape. Nice to meet you. And I'm really struggling with the cutter today. I think this this cutter has seen its days. It's pretty dull. That's true. We we haven't really changed the blades in ever. <laughs> I was going to say, like, since we started. <laughs> yeah, this probably is the original, like, this cutter's probably seen everything that Dave and Kelly has seen as far as maker pipe goes. This, this is probably used for Kickstarter builds. Probably not. Do but you know how many pipes had to be cut for a Kickstarter builds? A lot. I we, mean, I had to do wrap on a lot of it, but how much had to actually be cut was a lot. We had the chop saw. That's true. Yeah. Did we Abrasive just... wheel chop saw. That wasn't very good, though. It burnt it more than it cut it. Right. It was all Ooh. really rough on the ends and everything. Right. Going to use the superhuman genetics to cut these pipes. But uh, I've, <laughs> um, I've, I've only had one customer ask me for replacement wheels. I mean, mm. Brasscraft is the brand of our cutters, and you can get them anywhere, but... Um, I wonder if people would want replacement wheels. I don't know. I think somebody asked me um, one time when I was manning the phone, somebody called and asked, and I was like, I think I can find one for you. He's like, oh, I'll just buy another one. <laughs> I just ordered another cutter. But, I mean, I guess the hassle of changing it out. Yeah. I mean, it's easy, but, I mean, it's five bucks, so, or seven. Right. So it's probably easier just to, to get a new one, unfortunately. But it happens when you crank down on the cutter too much mm-hmm. and bend the, the wheels. Yeah. Which is probably what I'm doing. Make sure I got my measurement right here. I think there's another cutter over there. There's two or three of everything in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jake. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. That's okay. Whenever I, I need to find one of something or two of something... I go in Jake's corner of the office and can usually find it. The yeah. extras, so, yeah. Yeah, but it, it's it's great because on the fly, I just I need one to get by, and I can usually find it there. Yep. So thank you for that. <laughs> oh yeah, no worries. It's the the well, I don't even know what you call it the 
after the video, the um, graveyard. Right, the video live stream graveyard. Mm-hmm. All right, I just gotta get one more. We'll just have one of those factory sales. Factory sales. Yeah, where you take all the the extras, the seconds, the use, the connectors, and then just have a sidewalk sale. Invite everybody down to the shop. Put a discount on it. Scratch and dent. Would we get anybody? Axel, would you come down? Speaking of which, I think Axel was asking me about doing like a, a local like open house. But you know what we should do is another build night at Synergy Mill. I think that would be fun. Oh, yeah. That'd be great. But I, I was wondering if he was talking about like a kayak meetup for us to do like kayak stuff or if he was talking maker pipe meetup. Either way, I think it'd be really fun. But, you know. All right. I had to swap out cutters. Is that one any better? Yeah. Cutting great. I think that's the first time we've used the hand cutter on stream. You know, that is true about the kind of the seconds. If anyone does ever want any, just email us. Sometimes we have some laying around. We've had we've had a couple of customers get those from us. Right. Um that, you know, we're just doing a build that didn't need to be showcased and pretty and whatnot. So just let us know. Yeah, I use a lot of the scratch and dents for videos. I but. mean Yeah. We've got a few. We do end up using them in videos, though, or for builds, personal builds. Yeah. I actually pulled from the fresh stack for this one. Okay. I'm going to add the legs, and I'm going to add the, or start working on the electronics, I think. Axel says that he was referring to, like, an open house at the shop. Okay. So. Could be fun. Yeah, definitely. We'd have to build something, I feel like. Yeah. You know? For sure. In-person build, that'd be cool. Show, show off the shop. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. I f we've had a few people... Wanted to stop by and say hello. I think there was somebody in Atlanta that said they wanted to come by. Have you ever had something like that? Sure. Yeah. I mean, um, just want to, you know, extend open an invitation. If you ever want to come by the shop uh, in Anderson, South Carolina, you're more than welcome to if you want to pick up your order. Uh, and then we'll look into having an open house or something like that for everybody. What did you guys do when you had the build night at Synergy? How long ago was that? Like four years ago? Mm. Five years ago? Yeah. That was early on. We did uh, the whiteboards. Oh, okay. The nesting whiteboards that Synergy has mm. had in their, in their shop. Nice. And they still have one. Yes, you can see that in the interview we did with Synergy. I can pull it up here in a little bit, too. For those who don't know, Synergy Mill is the local makerspace to Greenville, which is right near us. Um, we're kind of in the Clemson-Anderson area, but they're the closest makerspace that we belong to. Okay. Shout out to Joey. We've got his coaster. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Where's that at? Here we go. Synergy Mill. He yep. he did that on one of his laser cutters. Cut he has a couple of laser cutters, really cool tools in there: CNC, mills, welders, um, all kinds of stuff. 3D printers. The idea of a makerspace is r such a cool thing, such a cool concept. Yeah. I think I'm gonna add some end caps real quick. Bird to conduit, but it's all right. 
I just want to make sure I put the T connector in the right spot for the foot to rest. I think this might be a new nightlight for Bailey. Okay. I was going to steal that and put it in my oh. apartment, but you know. Well, <laughs> she <laughs> she's asleep, so she doesn't know it exists if you want to take. Maybe we can build like a, a pipe unicorn. I feel like it would be enormous. She did say she searched you uh, make her pipe on YouTube, kids <laughs> YouTube though. Yeah, it doesn't show up on kids. <laughs> no, we don't show up. We do not create content for kids. Yeah, I turned that off because you have to choose if your channel's for kids or not. <laughs> right. Which is always weird when I like have my personal account and I try to subscribe to you, like make her pipe. I, I can subscribe, but I try to turn on notifications, and it says I can't because it's a kids channel. Maker Pipe. Maker Pipe, even though it's not. And like on our shorts channel, when I subscribed no. to the main channel, it let me and didn't give me any issues. Sure, it doesn't say that y you're a kid and you can't subscribe to Maker Pipe? Hey, probably <laughs> could be possible, actually. Just kidding, Jake. <laughs> I feel like a kid. I am building a robot friend at the moment, so. You feel like a kid every day. Yeah. It's going to be a tall person. I probably should put pipes in there, right? Or should I just... Scrappy's looking good. Uh, well, maybe. Were you planning on it? I feel like I need to then put rubber pipe feet here. That See, way but then it's going to look like a backwards knee joint. That's a foot. That's a huge foot. Well, they're size 16s. I feel like I should put an adjustable there. That way I can like even it out. I wonder if. if Let's I see the side profile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People are going to think I was blindfolded when I built this. this, this <laughs> Where are the arms coming from? Out of here. But like, I'll do a little bit out to like make it even with the hips, and then I'll do an adjustable off of that to be able to like come out and be proportionate, pro proportion, proportional. Uh, with his wingspan. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah, no stubs for the feet. Because let me just do this. Yeah. But I, don't, but I don't think I can even it out where it'll stand up straight if I don't do it. Because, like, if I let it go now, uh -huh. it, like, tips forward. Okay. Which I guess I could just spin this. It's in athletic position. Ah, because he's ready to fight. Yeah. This is... He's got the superhuman gene. <laughs> <laughs> he's an athletic. That's funny. Um, I feel like it needs... If you have adjustables left over, I say definitely um, knee joints. Okay. I feel like that'll make it way too tall though because like if i added i mean i guess i could do the knee joint right here right like right off of the connector so i do one leg going straight down and then one like coming forward one leg going <laughs> walnuts and wine berries just joined john here what in the world is going on <laughs> welcome john so we are building here dave you want to switch to uh i'll show you we're building a pipe warrior Lamp. Oh, gosh. We're far off from that. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some work to do. Are you roasting my ability to do this? No. <laughs> I'm I'm guiding. I I'm, think it looks... What is it, what's wrong with it? What is it? What? I'm attempting to guide. I don't know what's wrong with it. Well, it's straight-legged. Yeah, but... Okay, just... What if, right? Okay. What if you did a a knee joint? Right below that, like, hip joint, right? Okay, so you're saying, take an adjustable here. Or are you saying in clamp? And no, that, that would be definitely too long. So you're saying puzzle piece clamp here. And then have this go down. Or mm. stick up? Mm. No, go down. 
Or what if what if it came off the backside? <laughs> Axel says, don't upset Jake. He has superhuman genes. That's right, Axel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Carry on. It looks great. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand what where you want me to do this. I, I guess it would be there, but it. it I think that's going to make it even more. Just, uh, I think it's good. Keep going. I mean, I could do this up here. Then that only allows me to go this direction. Right. And if you go with the T connector out further, then the the hips are going to be super wide. Huh. I wonder if I used. Be back two seconds. I see something in the corner that might work. Okay. Oh, I think I know what you're going after. <laughs> the, the graveyard of parts. Yeah. There's from conduits. video past. Okay, I'm back. So I don't know where we use this app, but it's. I think it's. Did you use this in the laptop laptop stand? Maybe. Possibly. But if I cut it. Right in the middle, mm -hmm. and then I would be able to use it as kind of a leg, maybe? What do you think? I don't think the, the radius is tight enough. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. I don't know. I I'm just going to stick with the straights for now, and then we'll, we'll come back to that. Okay. Good call. Sorry. And it's okay. I appreciate the input. I, I, would, like, I would like to do that. Jolly wants to know if we can send products in the Philippines to the Philippines. Sure. Just uh, email us what connectors and quantities that you're looking to get. And then also with the shipping address, and we can check what the shipping rates would be to do that. But, yeah, we'll, we'll ship anywhere. Nice. Right, because there's um, USPS international huh. priority. Right, yeah. Is jo uh, Jolly? Are you from the Philippines? <laughs> We've had a we had a lot of interest from the Philippines. You know, it would be cool. Oh wait, I don't have a drill. And always the first check is, do you have EMT conduit in imperial or inch size? Is oh, a right. good first check because yeah, we cause we get a lot of you know like the UK, it's metric uh, doesn't quite fit right. So yeah. that's a first check. So I'm thinking is if I run this through the side here, the T, I can go up through this conduit and then inside the junction box instead of just like straight into the back here. Hey, Jake, we've got a request from Monica to show the warrior again when you have a chance. Okay. Yep, so this is <laughs> the warrior that we're going after. Uh, <laughs> is that for sale? Yeah, it's $80. $80. Uh-huh. Oh, we should have just bought it. Well, where's the fun in that? I'm just kidding. That's Whoa. obviously photoshopped. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to fight everybody. That's a pretty hard Photoshop job because you got the... Anyway. Um, yeah, that's what we're going after. And then if you want to see what we've got currently, boom. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I think it looks okay, but... It's your artistic interpretation. Right. It's I'm right. Yeah. But I think so like for mock up purposes, you've got your arms coming out <laughs> and then you've got your adjustable angle that'll be able to like swivel this way and hold the shield. And then the other side holds the sword. I think it's great, Jake. Okay. It's awesome, Jake. It's really cool. Okay. Well, we're going to push onward then. Are you doing shoulder joints? Yes. With the adjustable? Yes. Those will be perfect. Yes. And I mean, what I could do if I wanted to make it just like that one is instead of... Because the reason we have the length here is because this t this connector... But if I ran pipes coming out of this like I did for the arms, it would be shorter. 
no, I think you're, you got it. Okay, cool. We're going to roll with it then. You know, if you, Jake, if you feel like you can't have it stand, the T's that you have that are starting the legs, mm-hmm. like you're the hips, you could just loosen those and have it sit. Like if you feel like weight is a problem. Oh, just kind of like sitting back? Like. And it's behind. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True. It's just if you feel in the end that it's too heavy or something, that might help. I think it'll be okay. I think it's pretty stable now. Anyway, we'll, we'll move forward. <laughs> I'm going to start <laughs> wiring. <laughs> this is the fun part. I should have, before I knocked out this hole, I, I didn't think it through, but I should have marked. Wait, there isn't even a hole down there to knock out. Okay. So... This is where it gets fun. Okay, so I've got light switch. Dave walked me through basic electronics. I've got the ground black screw and then the other gold slash bronze screw. So I need common. Common black. All right, so I've got the wires. Small details, not important. Actually, I feel like I need to put the neck on first. Hold that thought, everybody. Is that too long of a neck? This guy's going to be like 30 foot tall. <laughs> yeah. That's way too long of a neck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me. Uh, surely I have another scrap piece of conduit around here that's a decent size. So I think this will work. Mm, still maybe too long. What are we thinking on that? Too tall? I mean, it's it's kind of proportioned. I don't think it looks bad. I don't know what everybody's... No, I'm, I'm saying... Don't worry. <laughs> Just keep going. But I, I think it looks proportioned. Yeah, I, th- I think it looks... It looks good there. And then you can just undo this set screw, and you can change this to, like, point wherever you want. How do you feel about that, everybody? I'm good with that. Good. Okay. Whoa. Uh, I did not purr. <laughs> I said, I just purred. <laughs> Oops, autocorrect. I did not purr. I just ordered adjustable angles this week. Looking forward to working with them. We are excited. Thank you so much for the order. Let us know how you use them. Send us some pictures. Cannot wait. What kind of project do you have any projects in mind for them? Or you just kind of order them to try them out? Oh, that's a good idea. Wanderson Wineberry said, I definitely have a community contest for best maker pipe stick figure lamp. That'd be, I mean, you could do that with minis too. Yeah. That would have been a good idea to uh, make this out of minis first, but it's okay. What am I doing here? <laughs> Where did my electrical tape go? <laughs> you got this? Do you need a hand? I don't know what I do with the electrical tape. Oh, it's still up on the shelf. I'll be back. A moment. A word from our sponsor. I'm, I'm the sponsor? <laughs> well, um, kind of. What? Kind of. Kind of. I'm the sponsor. I What's the word? It's a wild <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> we appreciate that message from our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you were here earlier, if you missed it, but I this is just slightly too small to fit inside conduit. So I'm just going to kind of shim it with uh, this electrical tape. Because a scrappy is going to be okay. That's what we named him, by the way. I don't know how much to use, but am I doing this right? <laughs> Perfect. Okay. That should be enough. Monica says she's going to be using them for her greenhouse. Oh, sweet. So. Oh, yeah, like maybe for the door, like hinged for the door. That'd be cool. She's not quite sure how yet. Oh, okay. But nice. 
Are you planning ahead, Monica, or is this going to be a winter and fall garden greenhouse? I probably should have screwed this in first. So, Jake, what is that piece? I don't think I've ever seen that. I know so we did a light at one point, but we didn't use that. This is a replacement for a floodlight. It's a floodlight replacement. Oh, okay. So, like, usually you have, like, the big, like, bowl in the middle, and you have the two one on each side. Can I, can I jump in? Um, yeah. The hinge part is on the top, right? Mm-hmm. So, the way you're hinging it down, it can't, like, look down. Mm-hmm. If you spun it around and hinged it the other way, would it be able to look down and actuate down? Does that make sense? Uh, like if I undo the set screw? Yeah, and like flip the 180 degrees and then some. Because it's hitting the base of the conduit, right? But can you flip it 180 degrees all flip the way around? This? <laughs> Rotate it. Keep going. Uh-huh. Rotate it. No, no, no. Like the Just hinge. It? The hinge. Yep. Keep going. Right that. Keep going. Yep. Keep going. There you go. Now you got full range of mo motion, so oh, it can look down, look up. So he's ready for battle and can see his enemies from anywhere. <laughs> this would have been a good one to do, like the two-person build challenge like we've talked about in the past. I still want to do – I still want to battle Dave or whatever we want to call it. I, I have my build in mind. I shared it with Jake, right? Did I tell you? Yes. Okay. Yes. And the new connectors will probably – help you a lot with that build they they will sure i i think we should still do that yeah for sure i'm down okay was that the underwater battle <laughs> no <laughs> underwater blindfolded one hand behind your back build challenge i think is what we decided on i i mean any day of the week Go i'd on. like to just start with <laughs> to just building against him why don't you build on the live stream first like Get your feet wet. I feel like being confined to the desk might be really difficult for me. I think you'd do great. I am struggling here with this one. Okay. I think I got it. I didn't think about getting pliers. I should have thought about that earlier. So Monica's thinking about using the adjustables for the door. She's already used connectors to make the structure. So she was thinking the adjustables might be good for the door. And she's got shade cloth right now. Nice. So. That's cool. All right. Scrappy's got some leftover tape sticking out, but that's okay. He's like... It's like Dr. Frankenstein. And he didn't give you much wire here. Here, let me lay it down so you can get a better view of the surgery here. Oh, gosh. That's, that's all you got? Yeah. That's not going to be enough. Because hmm? you got to reach... It'll be close. Because you got to reach that black common. Mm hmm. Yeah, it'll be super close. That's not a good. I don't know what else you could do, really. I and mean, I could shorten the neck. Yeah, I would do that. Okay. Just because you don't want to have it tight and, you know, have the wiring be a challenge. Mm hmm. Number five from short circuit. I don't know if I've seen that. Oh, yeah. That's... Whoops. Oh, that's like Johnny. the most amazing movie ever. Johnny Five. Yeah. Alive. Yeah. Yeah, Jake. Walnut and wine, walnuts and wine berries. John, you'll have to mention that to your wife. We used to watch that a lot. Look it up. Mm. Uh, it's worth a break. All right, so. Studio Hansen says pigtail wire nut. I do have some wire nuts. 
Yeah, you could do that. You could take some off of the cord. You got plenty of cord. Mm -hmm. And then wire nut. I don't know if that would be enough. Yeah, why don't you do that? Just wire nut some extra cord on there. Like cut some of this off? Yeah. Or is uh, that too much? I don't know. We could talk you through it. Oh, boy. Sure. Why not? We meaning you. <laughs> not me. Don't worry, Kelly, Scrappy. Talk him through it. You'll be here soon enough, okay. little buddy. Not, I won't be using any electric stuff. Okay. So just cut a chunk of this off? Yeah, cut a chunk of that off. And you're going to basically make that same end on the other side of that pigtail. Right. So separate like, these? Yeah, but yeah, separate the other side. Leave it joined in the middle. Okay. Okay. All right, cool. And then uh, you want to strip some of the insulation off of that side to expose as much um, of copper as you have on the other side. Okay. I didn't heed your uh, instructions and get better wire uh, thingies. Those are dikes. Huh? Yep, dikes. I think. I have no idea. Or maybe dikes are the ones with the, the straight on cutters, I forget. Okay. I think All right. I don't know how much I have left in there. I guess I didn't take off. Yeah, I lost a little bit. <laughs> Is that okay? Looks great. Now do that on the other side. Okay. Yeah, I took a big chunk out. Electrical engineering with Jake. <laughs> Lesson 101. <laughs> They give you extra strands anyway, so. Mm. So have you ever done any wiring like this? Um, whenever we built drones back in the day, yeah, you know, like two years ago. I did a little bit then, but nothing like too crazy. If you can build a drone, you can build Scrappy. Cool. Just make sure you know which one is hot versus common. Okay, I got a good amount on this one this time. Make sure that's going to be enough on this? Yep. Okay. So I'm just adding it to this. Right, so get your wire nuts and then find the appropriate size. That's like a 16-gauge wire, 18-gauge. I don't know. Yellow would be 18. What's the smallest you got? 18. 18, okay. Yeah, use that. And then just put, like, wrap, wrap these together. Right. I, I did this way too long. Okay, so you, you, you pinch them together so they're both coming out and they're next to each other. So not end to end, but match together. Mm -hmm, like this? Yeah, like that. Okay. And then twist them together. There you go. And then you're just going to take the the wire nut and put it over that mm -hmm. right and then put it over that and continue to twist it what direction to tight right. right righty tighty nope that's lefty loosey righty tight there you go so you keep tightening it and it'll grab onto the wires and start to twist them are they tight slug test uh, I think. I think so. I mean, you should really be able to rip on it. Yeah. 
Okay. I feel like I should have put this through the kind of first, but I mean through the the junction box. Yeah, probably. But it's okay. I think you'll be able to get it through. If not, I think this will be able to sit inside the conduit. Wait. Yep. And it's just, it's grabbing those wires and twisting them even mm -hmm. more. And you want to keep turning until it's like actually twisting the wires. And then it's tight. Okay, I think it just grabbed onto the wires. Yeah, yep, then keep twisting on it. I'll keep going. We'll just make sure that it's really on there. Okay. And then pull it. Yeah, give it a good tug test. Oh. Nope. So just uh, tighten it down even more. Okay. Oh, that's pretty hardcore, I feel like. I think that's good. Okay. Then just grab a, a piece of electrical tape, mm -hmm. a small section, okay. and wrap it around where the wires meet the, okay. the nut. That's a good idea. You said be sure to watch the hot leg. The hot wire, I'm reading... Uh, Bob Clare's comment, the hot wire on the cord will not have a rib surface. The common neutral will have a rib surface. Okay. Thanks, Bob Clare. And then the the white is the hot on the lamp, correct? And the black is the common? Yeah. I think both of these are ribbed. No, wait, no. So he said the the rib will be... The common. And the one without the rib... Is the hot. The white one. Right? Well, so it, it so like doesn't... Ribbed is going into black now. The hot wire in the cord will not have a rib surface, correct? Okay, so we did it right by accident. Well, on the light, the white will be the hot. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we want a smooth one. Well, I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. It would have been helpful, which... Oh, which we got it right, though, I think. Oh, we got it right? So yeah. the smooth one's on the white? Yeah. Okay. And the ribbed one's on the black. Okay. So you'll connect rib to rib <laughs> on the black on the common. And then the smooth will be black is hot. Whoops. Okay. Should I switch it? Black is hot. We've got consensus in the chat. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, don't don't worry about switching it. You just have to make sure I switch it on the actual. Yeah, okay. we're gonna get we're gonna get through this together, guys. Yeah, if there's ever been a payoff for the end of a stream to stick around, it'll be this one when you watch. What, what, what and we might need your help. Get electrocuted, <laughs> Axel. You're the closest. If we go dark and you don't see or hear from us, <laughs> we're not too far away from you. I wonder if I can get these inside of here. Seems like a bad idea. Just put them through the junction box thing. Yeah. All right, Scrappy. You're doing good, buddy. fit yeah it'll be okay just gotta one at a time yeah just gotta believe and uh get one at a time of course i don't really have much real estate to work with <laughs> anderson 911 <laughs> <laughs> nice I think wire joins in conduit is a no-no. Really? Probably, yeah. 
It'll be in the junction box, though, so it'll be okay. Best have those wire nuts in the box. Okay. We're getting there. So, again, so black is going to be hot. Mm -hmm. And then which is that connected to on the lamp side? On the lamp side, it's connected to the ribbed Okay. at the moment. So, the ribbed is hot on the lamp side, mm -hmm. which will be the switched. Would you like to look at this and confirm? No, I trust you. Okay. Darn, we're so close. Come on. <clears throat> I don't want to pull it too hard. It's a huge motivator for you to get this right. All right. Yeah, I know, right? The so stakes have never been higher. You'll be plugging it in. Okay. This is fantastic. Crisis averted, I think. Well, either crisis averted or crisis created. We will find out soon enough. Find out next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. All right, so what am I doing now? Okay, so now I got to do... I wonder if I can put this through here. It's probably not a good idea. Okay. So that should be okay. So now I just got to splice this bad boy. Arr, come on. Okay. Which worked well for me? This, I guess this did last time. Dun, 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 dun. It's cool that we have a lot of electrical knowledge in the chat. Yeah, it's surprising. A lot of customers that uh, that we got to talk to at like maker fairs and everything, a lot of them were electricians. Nice. Right. It's always great to hear from electricians. Right. Yeah. Like YG Electric's table was pretty dope. He actually made an electrician's table with maker pipe and conduit. Oh, wow. Which is pretty sweet. Yeah, I, l I love the comments like, I've been working with this stuff my whole life. I've got a ton of it. And like, you know, this is great. I can build with it better. Right. Like a whole new meaning to something they've known forever. And I've had a lot of electricians like already build with EMT because they have access to it. They know how to bend it. Right. All right. One down, one to go. I think I should give this a test after I get this wired up before I continue building. Or should we wait until the end? What will yeah. happen? Will it just start sparking if I did it wrong? It's going to work. But just so I'm prepared <laughs> in case it doesn't. That's going to work great. Okay. You want you want to be hands off of the metal parts, I think, of it. Yeah, I'll just hold the in. extension cord and the actual cord when I plug it in. And then the wood will be touching it. No, you need to just... Touch wood, right? What? Doesn't he? Uh, he's not supposed to be touching electrical stuff, right? Well, well, I got to plug, plug it in. in. I mean, I guess I well, could yeah. go to the wall and plug it in. But, but I'm but saying like he did. It'll be great. Electricians are just cringing right now. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Remember the preface at the beginning? You picked this build. I know. And remember I called you today when I was in Home Depot and I was like, hey. I'm probably going to electrocute myself tonight on stream. Hey, I want to build a lamp, but can't do any electrical work. How do I do this? <laughs> <laughs> and the idea was born. <laughs> okay. So the time is now. You'll know if the circuit trips. All right. So just to confirm, I've got smooth going into white. So... Smooth is going into white. And then ribbed is going into black. Okay, so... I need to do the opposite of that, right? Here, here's an easy way. The smooth that's mm -hmm. going into white. Grab that. Okay. That's your common. Okay. And then grab the rib one. 
out of the plug on the on the plug end. The smooth one. No, the ribbed one. Ribbed one. Okay. Okay. So that's this one. Okay. Okay. So in, and you need to attach both those to the black screw. Here. Here. Okay. And you can twist them together. Okay. Twist them together so they stay together. That's the white wire coming out of the uh, flood lamp. White wire from the flood lamp. Yep. Into the ribbed wire coming out of the cord. Exactly. Okay. You guys definitely, you know, let us know if that's wrong. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Sounds like we've got some knowledge in the chat. And then I just want to thread this. Not thread it, but kind of hook it around the black screw, right? Whoops. Starting to sweat a little bit. <laughs> it's such high stakes. I guess. I Randy guess. says not a bathroom fixture, I guess. Well, maybe that's in reference to Axel saying that, you know, the circuit would flip. But I mean, I, I guess I'm thinking GFI. That's right. I know what GFI is. Yep. Okay. I don't know if that's enough wire sticking out, but it's going to have to be. Do you have contact with the screw? I mean, wire on yeah. screw contact. That's good. Mm -hmm. Give it a tug. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hard work's done. Now it's easy. Same. Th now I just got to do these two on this one, right? Nope. What? One on one, one on the other. Oh. Because the switch is going to break that and connect that. Duh. So this one is the cord. It needs to go on this side, right? Sure. Or does it matter? Uh, Technically. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm sure there's code on how you're supposed to do it, but oh, I'm sure there's. <laughs> this is not to code. Lots of things. Let me take a swig of my Sierra Nevada before <laughs> plugging this up. Anybody else drink anything out there tonight? I have a Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest Amber Marzen. It's pretty good, actually. Dave picked it out. Oktoberfest time. Mm. Oh, I forgot about. I can't believe it's October already. Huh. What? <laughs> yeah. We're not. talking about Christmas decorations. We just skip over everything. I know. It's not October already, but I'm excited for Sam Adams Oktoberfest. That is a good one. That's one of my favorites, too. That reminds me of an embarrassing moment I had at the bar. Would you, like, would you guys like to hear the story? <laughs> it's not that embarrassing, I guess. But it was like, I didn't really know like all that stuff like at bars. So I was just like, oh, yeah, I want Oktoberfest. And she's like, no, all we have right now is Sam Adams winter lager. Or no, all we have is the winter lager. And I was like, oh, no, I want the Sam Adams one. <laughs> but the Sam Adams winter lager is what the, you know, replaced Oktoberfest. I guess it's not that embarrassing, but. Felt <laughs> embarrassing at the moment. I'm sure she tells all her <laughs> oh, I know. bartenders she or friends. Thinks about it every day. Like, or, or what mine. a goober. <laughs> to this day, she still tells that story. Okay. All right. Wait, do I need to electrical tape anything? Nope. Just screw her in? Yeah. And just tuck the, the wires out. Dramatic music. It's like open heart surgery. Ah, darn it. I need the other screwdriver. A quick word from our sponsor. Come on, guys. You got to give me something. 
Well, Dave's trying to read the chat with your electric suggestions. Okay, we we got a comment from uh, Bob Clare. Said the neutral commons should not be connected to the switch. So do they? Do they just get wire nutted together, Bob Clare? This is critical knowledge right now. Yeah, this is. Uh Yeah. What should I do? Should I wait? Uh, or should we rock with it? Yeah. Well, I'd, I'd like to hear the <laughs> response. Um, I don't. I want to make sure I'm not steering you, steering you wrong. You know. All right. Or you could go and and give it a quick Google. Yeah. Let's. To the search bar. Da -da 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 -da. Got an incognito. Okay. What do I search? Uh, wiring household light switch. Uh. Yeah, schematics. Oh. We've got a confirmative. Neutral commons get connected together. Okay. Is that what the the schematic said too? It looks like neutral required in most new switch boxes. Uh, I don't know. Ah. Turn to Google. No, I don't want to buy anything. <laughs> There's a YouTube how to how to wire a light switch. Um, it's probably research we should have done prior to embarking on this. All right, but it's okay. It's part of the fun. Oh, dang, I keep clicking on links. I don't know. Source. Huh. What to know about light switches? So yeah, it looks like something here is wire. Oh, but it's got both hots on one side. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Monica has a flying dog Hefeweizen. Nice. Hmm. All right, so let me back this screw back out, and let's, uh, darn, the screwdriver doesn't work. Okay. So. What are we thinking? Well, we know the, the comments need to be together. So why are not the comments together? These two. That were on the same terminal. On the, the black screen, yeah. Yep, Bob Claire gave us that. Only the hot goes to the switch. The proper switch should only have two connectors, not including the green ground. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've got three on ours, Bob Claire. We've got one that's actually labeled common. That's why... And it's and it's black, and that's why I thought that was going to be um, this one. the common. Yeah, there's some there's some writing in the injection molding or the insulation that says common, and then there were two silver connectors or gold terminals. Yeah, two gold. I don't know. Yeah, because I see like three-way. But is this considered a four-way switch? No, I don't think so. It would be a three-way. Four-wire. I'll, I'll, I'll do some research. 
Okay. You keep building the, the structure if you can. Okay. Yeah, let me just thread this so it stays in place, and then I'll start keep on building while Dave and Bob convene in the chat. I should have got a different screwdriver for this. I went and got another screwdriver, but I thought it would work, but I should have tested it. Anyway, I just need it to stay in place. All right, we've got, okay, that should stay in place long enough. Okay. Wire one hot to the common and the other to the brass screw, he says. making shoulders here. I'm probably on the same side. Hmm? Bob Clare, you're coming in in clutch. Yeah. Sounds like he knows what he's talking about. I, I trust him. It sounds it sounds like it. Wait, where is this? That's a wicked burr. We could always, Axel suggested too, we could always build it and wire it next week too, if we're not sure on it, you know? True. Okay. Yeah. Just put both hots on one side. One labeled, one that's attached to the black screw and one to the silver on the same side. Okay, so come on. Okay, so you're saying leave that or no, these need to be wire nutted together, correct? Which are those? These are the two black, so the two that were on the black screw? Yeah. Yeah, those need to be wire nutted together. Okay. Good old wire nut. Okay. And then the other ones are... You screwed one on... Just do that first. Okay. Come on, yellow. Looks like you got a three-way switch. Yeah. All right. Hey, but first, wire nut usage. Mm -hmm. Right? Th these are some firsts for you. Yeah. Jake, do you need another screwdriver, or are you good? I mean, if if it's an easy thing to get, that would be great, but it's not a huge thing. I can make do with what I have. Okay. Does that screwdriver hammer work, or is it, it too big? It, it works well enough anyway. Okay. That was my dad's. Oh, nice. Toy as a kid. Huh. He would hammer. Uh, he yeah, he says he hammered everything with that thing. Nice. <laughs> he had a little kid's toy set. That's, so that thing's got some age in it. Kid's toy? Yeah. Wow. That was back in the day. Yeah. Forget the Black & Decker like plastic ones you get now. Right. That was like, <laughs> he grew up in the in the 50s. So he got real, real tools. Right. Okay. So we got that. So now I've got one on each side. These need to be together. 40s. Yeah. 40s, yeah. Okay, so you got um, what? What do you got over there? So I've got the plug going onto this side on this brass side, and then the lamp going on the other brass side. Okay, so take the one that's on the other brass side, that one, mm -hmm. and then attach it to the black screw. Oh, the black screw. Yeah. Okay.
Yeah, if we suddenly go dark offline. <laughs> we'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to trip the breaker and the whole... All, everything up here is on the whole circuit, so... Yeah, so... At least you know why. Part two, coming soon. And I'll post on YouTube to let everybody know we're okay. So, <laughs> if there's any concern, just check there. All right, if I could get this on here, that would be good. Do you not have enough to make a little hook to go around? Um, I think so. Yes, I do. Yeah, and then... Hold it underneath and then tighten it. Just wanting to spin is the problem. Okay, there we go, I think. All right, Bob, you want to confirm this for me? That would be good. All right. Good, you got it. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Too easy. Thanks, Bob. Lifesaver, literally. Okay. I think I should... Yeah, test see, it, don't you think? I think you just need some wire management there. Stick those deep in the box. These? Yeah. Lay them flat so they're out of the way. Okay. And get that there. And then screw it down. All right. Uh, scrappy. <laughs> he took a lot. Uh, I might, might need to change the name to Darn. Bob. That's right. Bob. It's officially named Bob now. In your honor, Bob. Okay. And then if this doesn't work, Jake, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll name him Jake for you. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, I need another screwdriver. <laughs> I need another screwdriver. Another oh. screwdriver? All right. Yeah. Medium tip? I'll get it. I like a large one, whatever. I've got two here, and they're both too small, so. Okay, I got you. I appreciate it. Well, it's working on one side, but the other one's not, so. <coughs> All right, yeah. Yeah, something bigger than this. Thank you, sir. And we'll go back to the shoulders while he's doing that. So you're going to do adjustables? On the shoulders? Right? Yes. Um, so the easiest way to do this is going to be... Back this up a little bit. This little bit's keeping it out of focus. I'll move them out of the way. So we designed these so you could attach half-inch material, so you got to put these on second. So what I found, what I like to do is assemble... this side together loosely. Oh, that's a good idea. I wonder if I can catch Dave. Why? What do you need? Uh, Bob just said if you have a multimeter, you could check for a short. Oh. Which might not be a bad idea. Well, you keep building, and when he comes back up, he can... Uh, you can uh, run and get one, too. I guess that's just for aesthetics purposes, but I like to make sure the no, nut and bolt are on the same side. I don't know why. I just like to do that. When I was making these today, um, as an example for the packing team, so they knew how the adjustable was going together, I I appreciate your tip and how to put it all together. Nice. But I was trying, <laughs> I was trying to do a lot all at once. But mm -hmm. that makes sense to do the longer piece first. Yeah, I found that to be the the simplest. I don't know if this is going to be the angle that we want it to be though, because we oh we need it to be the other direction. So I feel like a T connector would be better there. And then we could use this as like the wrist. I mean, you could use that one. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. I use this to hold the shield. Uh-huh. Because you can adjust the shield wherever you want it. Sure. 
Because the T connector is good to make a, like to make an adjustable angle if you use it like on the plane that we're using here for the arm because we need it to be able to swivel this direction. Right. But these are good because up until now, these were on opposite planes, but these are actually on the same plane. He's going to come back with all kinds of screwdriver options right. for you. <laughs> if he can even find them. Huh. I wonder if that's a long enough arm. Cause I, cause once I get this on there, yeah, that'll be cool. This will be like an elbow pretty much. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's cool. Then I'll be able to, yeah, I'm going to use this pipe for now. I can always change the length later. What do I do with the T-handle? Oh, it's right in front of me. Okay. Probably should tighten this one, too. I didn't tighten these uh, set screws too much or as much as I should have. But that's okay. All right, so I'm going to use the adjustable here. Welcome back. Bob had a good idea. He said we could use the multimeter to test for shorts, but I think, I think it'll be okay. It's starting to come together, starting to look like a person. Oh, I did that too tight. want to change this shoulder a little bit differently. All right. I tried to use, I was going to use the adjustables for the shoulders like we talked about, yeah. but it's the wrong plane. Oh. Yep, fantastic. Uh, Randy had a question about if we have uh, models yet for the adjustable minis. That's going to be tricky. Yeah, we were talking about that. That is going to be tricky. I don't. I don't know. Like, I mean, I think you could do something cool where you have two different pieces and then you use like a metal, like one of those like thin metal rods to like make an adjustable. But I don't know how you'd lock it in place if you did that. I don't know. Do you have any ideas? Maybe if uh, maybe if you like used a coffee stir, like you cut a little piece of a coffee stir, and that was kind of like the space holder for the nut and bolt, maybe. Or no, would that not work? Like a, a hinge would be easy, right? Because well, you I guess just that's make it I mean, snap yeah. together and pivot. But be to lock it together, yeah, um, it wouldn't stay. We might need to add a. I have no idea. Open to ideas, Randy. I think it would be useful. Did you send Randy some adjustables? Yeah, he said he's been playing with them. Oh, nice, great. I don't know what is it was me with me and screwdrivers tonight. I think it's these like they have like a little black like barrier between. Yeah, it's just to keep tightening down through those. They put that on there, so I think the screws don't fall off. Makes sense. So just keep tightening. If I can, I'll just pull it out. <laughs> Got a long way to go. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great, Randy, if you had any ideas. Definitely. Keep us posted. There might be more of an opportunity because we made the files for the, the coffee stirs. We also made them where they work with regular drinking straws. So maybe for adjustables, we might have to make something a little bit bigger. Right. I could see where we would have like just a, a small screw and nut, mm -hmm. even though that would be 
another screw and nut. I mean, honestly, the easiest thing, well, as far as making them, the easiest thing would be just to make all the possibilities in, in that set angle and then just give like, you know, 10 different set angles that are pretty common. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that would be the easiest. But it would be cool to actually have one that adju could be adjusted, you know. This side's almost there. The other one seems like it's fighting more. It's really giving you a fit, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I had a worry whenever I got this. I think the tab was kind of pointed in. Yeah, you're right. They won't saw off mobility completely. I don't know. I have to come up with a solution. there so close come on scrappy oh, wait, definitely looking like something i think it's starting to look like a person something i i mean a person is that a, a warrior okay okay that's as far as I'm warrior. Going. all right i'm gonna put the cover on real quick and then i'm gonna test it oh boy here we go that looks dope though doesn't it like the silver and black it looks cool i like the yeah, when you said the, to use the junction box as the body with the switch, I thought that was mm -hmm. really cool. Right, because you could do just a regular stick figure. Randy says, got to run. Good to see you, Randy. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for your help. By. Good to see you again. We'll uh, catch up later. Check back in. He said, hopefully no sparks. <laughs> I we are moments away. Yeah, we'll find out here in just a second. The suspense is building up. Don't I have a drum roll over here? I'm trying to figure out how I can g make a black screen. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to stand it up. Screw, I'm going to take this rubber guard off because, well, actually, I think it looks better with that. Oh. That's the last thing I need to break this bulb. Don't do that. Oh, we, yeah, we can get another one. Oh. Not that size, though. Yeah, this is a little small one. I got a big one at first. but You want a really thing. long live stream. I need to go to Lowe's. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. You guys hang out here. I'm going to run to Home Depot. Look at that thing. It's so cool. Yeah, I think it's dope. Okay. If we're in the down position. All right. Okay. Here we go. So if we hear or see sparks. Yeah, we got gotcha. you. Unplug. Okay, we're plugged in. All right. Now the moment of truth. I'm not going to touch any metal. All right. Yay! <laughs> Look at that. Way to go, Jake. Nice. nice work, Jake. Thank you, Bob. And Bob. And Axel. Axel contributed too. Look at that. Sweet. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah, that's sick. All right. So we just got to finish it up. Unplug it for sure. Yeah, I unplug, yeah. unplugged. <laughs> sick. Okay. All right. We just got to finish adding the. Accessories. accessories. You know, you could even... Oh, you wanted a sword in one hand, huh? I was going to say, maybe he lost one arm and he just <laughs> has battle. the shield left trying to survive with one arm. <laughs> Scrappy has seen some stuff in his days, let me tell you. We've come this far. It won't be, it won't be long. We're almost there, folks. Everyone's very proud of you, Jake. Hey, it's all the credit goes to Bob. Thank you, Bob, for your help. 
He says, you're welcome. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> All right. Nice. All right, so I'm adding the shield. <laughs> I'm just going to thread it on there. Ah. All right. And so I can, I left these a little bit loose so we can actually, I'm going to loosen this just a tiny bit more so we can actually like move it real time. Got to find that balance point, yeah. It's good. Kind of has a long arm, but <laughs> it's okay. All I could do is tilt this back and then tilt this up. Yeah. Sure. Cool. <laughs> nice. Okay. So now I'm just going to add the sword side. Sword side. Okay. Okay, so we just got to do. I mean, oh, we need a left. maker pipe sticker. Oh yeah. Coat of arms on the shield. It's <laughs> the like. Do we have one up here? Uh, I don't think we do. I don't think so. We got to bring back the stickers. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I was. I was thinking about that. People like stickers. I think. Yeah, who doesn't like a well Yeah. Yay, Johnny Five Bob Alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, J he has many Johnny names. Five Alive. That's such a great movie. <laughs> really glad you brought that up, Monica. Yeah. That was and there were a few too, right? I mean there was like Yeah, but the first one's the best one. That's true. The first one's the best one. I see a lot of people. And Saunders Machine Works talk about Johnny Five. Is that the same Johnny Five or? Yeah. Uh, so Johnny, right? They built a Johnny Five. Oh. Oh. Robot. That's cool. Yeah. I I don't know if they ever finished it. I don't know all the details, but they were definitely. That's the oh. same thing. Hmm. Uh oh. Is that loose? Yeah. It's okay. I'll just keep twisting. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just tweak it. A oh bit. boy. I mean, uh, Bob's son is an electrician. Oh. Oh, thanks. He nice. said he's got a scoot. Well, thanks for your help, Bob. Hope you have a good night. Let us know how the build goes. If you need any help, we can help you in any way after you've helped us tremendously. Definitely let us know. We're almost there. That's yeah. too long. So cool to get your help, Bob. Thanks so much. as short as possible. This is a real team effort. I love it. Yeah, it's great. Almost done. I'm going to make a couple of cuts real quick. Let me scoot this out of the way so it's out of in focus. Out of in focus. Two. I'm going to do two and a quarter. It doesn't have to be perfect. This cutter has seen some conduit for sure, I can tell. It's all reliable. Tell you what, I won't forget the electric cutter again. Oh, it's not oh, that Jake, bad. Oh, Jake, this is nothing. <laughs> I know, it's like three pipes. I'm just used to having the electric cutter, and I've gotten spoiled. You do get spoiled. Although it is nice to have straight cuts. We would, when we would go to these maker fairs, we would ship our connectors buy the conduit when we got there when we went to california and then build the whole booth yeah that's gnarly and then sell all the connectors <laughs> for cheap so we didn't have to ship them home and then we would give away the conduit to a local school nice. who would always come and buy a bunch of connectors so that's cool or return it to home depot if it was in full length. right if we still had full length we that? return them yeah that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. But we cut everything with the hand cutter or the, you know, the manual cutter. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't be complaining because. <laughs> it's okay. 
All right, so. Can I do another adjustable here? Oh, yeah. Well, that's cool. Warren said Saunders opened up the opportunity to other machinists so people in the community can make a part of the build and then actually all have a part of it. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's really neat. For the Johnny Five? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's neat. So it's still a work in progress, Warren? Do you have another adjustable up there? Yeah. I think I should use it. Yeah, keep it the same. Because then I could just, instead of putting the shield here, I'll just go straight off of this for the sword. And we'll be almost finished. It's storming here in South Carolina. Hi, I'm Bob. Bob's a focus hog. He is. Yeah. <laughs> no? Bob's getting all the attention. That's okay. He deserves it. He's had a big day. Actually, I should do this other one first. I'm excited for this. Yeah, yeah it it's coming cool. out cool. So, so what's your been your experience with the adjustable angles, Jake? Because you've probably built the most with adjustable angles out of anybody. Yeah, it's probably so. With that geometric table from the other day, that was thirty-six total adjustables. Right. That was definitely overkill, mm -hmm. but just it was a great adjustable angle first build. Right. That's, that's what we were after, you know, just trying to showcase the adjustable angle. From my experience, I would say, if possible, to get it in this state first, like if your build allows it. You know, some cases you can't do that. So, like, if I wanted to do it on the neck here, obviously I don't have anywhere to slide this over. But, you know, with the arm here, if at all possible, I would just assemble it get both screws and nuts on there. I found that to be the easiest because it can be kind of a lot to juggle when you're trying to juggle, you know, all four pieces and both nut and bolts. But I think the hack from the community where you put a piece of electrical tape on the back to hold the nut, I think it would be super helpful for that or using like clamps or, you know, something like that. And that would be the, cause there's two nuts and bolts. One holds the adjustable end on the terminating pipe. Right. That That's easy to get on. Mm -hmm. But it's that bolt that goes through the end, but also the two puzzle pieces that right. takes, right? Is that kind of what you found? Right. Right. So you could just tape up one end, the mm -hmm. nut end, and then, you know, keep it in place and then uh, do it this way. All right, I'll save this for how long the shield should, or this, that's a pretty good sword. Do you need another pipe? Yeah, I need to cut one real quick. Um, let's see. Probably make it the same length as the shield side. Yeah, I think we're looking about... Two and a half, roughly. You might have something over there. I don't see any. Okay. Maybe over there on the other side of the room, but I don't know. The superhuman, superhuman gene is all wore out. It's only a small part, small percentage. Right. Oh, here, sorry, I can move this out of the way, so it's... In focus. So, what about the robot from Jim, Surfer Jim? Have any insight on that? Since right. So, we talked to um, a gentleman who in New Jersey who is named on Instagram, the surfer Jim, and he's got a fantastic 
robot rover uh, with all kinds of motion, and he brings it around in the community. Really neat, and we did an interview with him. He used MakerPipe on the base of that. Um, really cool sort of thing. It's got that Johnny Five robot vibe to it. I'll pull it up here in a few minutes once we finish this uh, before we head out. But I hate cutting short stubs like this because you got not much to grab onto. Right. But I'm just trying to use scrap project material, hence the name Scrappy. Scrap. Scrappy. It's Scrappy Bob Maker Pipe Jr. <laughs> it's his final name. Middle middle name. Real name Bob, mm -hmm. nickname Scrappy. Bob Maker. <laughs> Bob Maker. Bob Maker, nickname Scrappy. I hate when that happens. What are you doing? I'm struggling with the cutters tonight. Let me tell you. I told you I'm used to the electric one. I haven't used the hand cutter in a little bit. I keep getting it in the rut. Okay, there we go. I guess I could move them back in a frame. Probably add feet later on, but for now, this will be good. Okay. I also found it helpful to tighten the end clamp first before you do the puzzle piece part right yeah because the puzzle piece tightens clamps down on the end piece right a little bit longer on this side but that's okay all right loosen this a tad bit Too much. All right, there we go. All right. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, wow, I used all the tea connectors. I did not think I would use that many. I have to back him up a little bit. Probably add some feet later for stability, but for now he's okay. All right, just gonna add the sword. We'll be ready to go. Everybody's quiet. <laughs> I mean, the suspense. Is this is this our new mascot, That's or our cool. mascot? Uh, we don't really have a mascot. Open applications for mascot. First applicant, Bob, <laughs> aka Scrappy. I feel like it needs a longer sword. How long of a sword should we do? That feels like way too much. I think what you have is good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Anyway, so that works. Let's get these locked in. Ah, okay. Ooh. All right. Should I add a hilt or no? All right. That looks pretty pretty sweet. Yeah, I think so too. Need some feet. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Should I cut that last piece and finish it off? Or roll with it? What do you mean? I just need to do the foot. One more foot. No. No, I think we're good. I think that's it. Okay. I want to I want to see it in its all its glory. All right. So let me clear out Bob Scrappy Maker the 3rd. Here he is. I'm going to plug him back up. Right. 
we are hot. And ta-da. Oh, that's <laughs> great, Jake. He's ready for battle. Nice. Well done. That came out pretty pretty cool. Yeah. I think it's dope. You want to do an overhead shot? Like takes up the hole. There you go. That's a good shot. Yeah. Side profile. Very cool. Yeah, I think that's awesome. Sweet. All right. Well. Well done. That's really cool. Well, thanks, everybody. As always, it's been a blast, and we'll be back live next week. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next Wednesday. All right. Have a good night. Have a good night.